Hello, welcome to Built From Bricks. I'm Brian. And I'm Drew. And today we have an exciting Lego haul. Yeah, a Lego haul, nice. So it's a Bricklink haul. I have a mock in mind, and we're going to see if Andrew can guess what the mock is as we open some of these boxes and bags. And there's quite a bit of them. I'm going to reach behind me several times to hand him one, hand me one, and open up the pieces and I'll show you what we got. And before the video ends, perhaps we'll figure it out. If not, I'll tell everybody at the end what the mock is. And there will be a separate video after this talking about the mock. Mock talk. Mock talk. Yeah, sounds good. New segment. Bricklink Hall, Mock Talk. Alright, let's let's get to it. Alright, let's open one of these. Alright. There's a few that are actually already opened because I oh. wasn't planning on this. But okay. I get I got my knife to open them and mm -hmm. I gave Andrew one too. I got mine. Ready to go. So this is the first set of stuff. This one's already open, so it's not as exciting. Is this sting? Is this um Bilbo's uh, sting? It could be. Huh. So let's see what we got in here. All right. Okay. Okay, we've got some stuff for little plants. Plants. Yep. Flowers and More plants. More plants. Okay. Some green slopes. Actually, this part is not part of the mock. This is part of something else. So it could be used in the mock too. Okay. So I lied. This is about the haul. Just the haul. Just the haul. Okay. Some more plants because they plants. bagged it in several different bags. Yep. More two by two green slopes. The other way. I'll let you. The other way. Uh, they, are, those are inverted. Are inverted. Yes. Yep. And some more plants. Okay. That one I already know. I'm going to let Andrew take one of these. Here we go. All right. So here's a bigger bag. And who's this from? All right. We've got... Oh, Brock Bricks. He's cool. He's shipped them really fast. Cool. Brock Bricks. It's like barrels. That's just random. Okay. That doesn't help you if there's a oh, gas either. Um, these look like knots for wood. Yes. Like wood knots. Uh, stuff for trees. And let's see, some slopes. What is this? Round one by two slopes, 75 degrees, I think, or 65. And, then. and more slopes, green slopes. One by three. Yeah, slopes again. See, I'm getting it. One by three slopes. Oh, these are darker green cheese slopes. Yes. That was the first yeah. thing he ever taught me was cheese slopes. It's one of my favorite pieces. Well, not my favorite piece. In inverted one by two. Yes. Okay, green. And Still have pieces in this bag. One by two brown. I don't even remember oh, what I got these more. for. And these are kind of like what? What would they call these ones? These are more slopes. Yeah, one by two. I think those are seventy-five degree ones. Okay. And that's that's that. You ready for the next one? I oh, am. Yeah. Let's open one. Let's take one that's not open yet, so I can open one. This one came from Germany. Oh, nice. Ooh, this one's heavy. No, it's in it. I'm gonna cut this open though. Makes it easier. What we got in here? I can see this on the... Ooh. Oh, well, look at that. So this is for... There's two... Okay, there's two... I should say there's two mocks. I did mention one before. One of them was the Tower of Orthanc. Right. And the business building. So this is used... Part of this may be used for that, and part of it's for my mock. So this is a double use for these ones. These are 1x4x6 translucent blue windows. Hmm. Hard to find. They're expensive. And these are probably frames for them. Oh, no, clear ones too. Hmm, one by okay. four by six clear frame, um, clear windows too. Good for windows, good for a few other things. One's in my mock. Next one for Drew. Eh, let's open a little one for Drew. You gonna try with your knife? No. Didn't work. <laughs> I bent it. <laughs> Here you go, careful with that one. I'll give him the real knife. So like I said, there's a lot of bags here. I think a station break. Oh, there's only one little thing in there. Oh, okay. Oh, this is part of the mock. This is part of the new mock. Are you making an aquarium? Possibly. Could be part <laughs> of it. You did ask, just say I could, I could yes, guess, guess right? as it goes. All right. So he's got part of it, right? I'm thinking, so you know what these are? Uh, I don't know what they're called, but they look like jellyfish heads. Yes, they are some sort of chef hat. It's called a toque. Oh. But these are translucent pink, so they're perfect for making jellyfish. Hmm. That's part of the mock. And that's... They have a, a character that has this as a hat? No, I don't know what they used it for. Oh, okay. All right, this one came from Brock's Bricks again. Hmm. And I already ordered from him. He's really quick shipping. I'm giving him a shout-out again. So let's see what this one is, because I don't remember what any of them are. Oh, this is just... All right, this is for the original tower mock, so I'll just give okay. you that. Some... Yep. There some arches, arches, some long arches. Mm -hmm. I need a lot of black pieces, so here's some black 1x3 plates. Mm -hmm. And 
some one by one black. Okay. And some one by two black. <laughs> God bless Excuse you. me. Sorry. Mm. So that's that one. Here's one for the tower again, so you can open that one. It's already open. It's already open. Four black bricks. Oh. Yeah, they put it, they resealed them in a Lego bag. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, that's interesting. Pretty cool. Those are long. One by ten. There's a lot of plates in this in this hall here, so. The problem is when you're building a building, you're always running into it's fine to have bricks and plenty of one by four, one by six bricks, but you always need plates just to get the levels right and to add windows, you need other size plates. So I got a bunch of stuff just to have them. Nice. Alright, now we get unopened stuff. So let's go for this one. This one's from GGS Bricks. Lexington, Mass. Huh. Didn't know they were that close. Yeah. I don't know what's in this one, but we'll see. Oh! There's another clue. Oh, okay. It's a so, bear. And here we have a bear and some translucent green seaweed. The bear is a really cool part. This is a rare piece. These are get expensive. The bear's a rare one? They're expensive. They came in, oh. they're in one set, this brown bear. That was the one that was like the, um... It was the police station yeah, swamp. Yeah, the woods. Yeah. Yeah, that, this was the brown bear from the police station swamp. It's the only set it's in. Oh. And they cost between 10 and $30, I see them. Whoa. Yeah. Well, that's okay. We get some more rare ones coming. Okay. Well, you do seem to be picking a lot of stuff with animals. Okay. Animals, <laughs> yes. And you have some Can't stuff this one. for ocean animals as well. Uh, so, I'm thinking some sort of zoo. <laughs> right. He got it. Yeah, right. Zoo. These are from Big B Bricks. I've actually met Big B Bricks. Nice. And, and this is for the tower again. And those are the, let's say, one by two, what do they call this? Grooves, one? I call them. Grooves. I call them one by two with grooves on the side. And this is, again, Groovy. you get a build, an office building, which is why I have windows, and then yep. these, because they want a texture. Cool. So that was for the tower. So I think he, he figured out what the mock is, but wait till you see some of these cool parts that we end up with. Alright. What are we getting this one? This one is from All My Bricks from Oregon. Happy Valley, Oregon. Stuff, some of this stuff's coming from Czechoslovakia, Hungary, it's all over the place. Wow. Yeah. So the the US ones come in a lot quicker. Ooh, oh, some more of those. These are, again, I think I'm clearing out brick link with these things. They're hard to get bulk. You yeah. don't have a lot of them. Ooh, and some frames for them. That, that would be useful to put them in. Yes. How else are you going to put them in, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I do have another idea for some of those. Oh. You'll see. Right now it's up to Drew. Got ideas. Drew gets this little one from... Uh, let me see what it's from. Oh, sorry. First. It's from, also from Oregon. Scott Phillips. Okay. I've been to that part of Oregon. I've never been to Oregon. Oregon, ah, I say, I but it's Oregon. Oregon. Yeah. Oregon. <laughs> what do we right. got here? Ooh. And here we have... What's the sticker sheet? I don't know, I don't know what that is. Here's a bonus. Oh, there's some snakes. There's some snakes, there's spiders, there's a scorpion in there. There's some pink pieces which will go along with the yep. the pink hats, which are now jellyfish. So some insects in this one, and some snakes. Nice. Again, cool. more more creatures, right? Yep. Yeah, put a slice right through that. This one is from Clifton, Virginia, Deborah Winfield. Let's see what we got in this one. We're almost done with this. We got a few more things and then about three boxes. Oh, this one's one of my, this is a cool one that I hadn't seen before that I wanted. Oh, so here serious. we got some, let me take these out of the bag because they're hard oh. to see in the bag. Probably a lot of them they can't see in the bag. Manta rays. Manta ray. These are, these are a cool piece. And what set was that in? I don't remember what set it was in, huh. but I wanted the piece and I don't even know how they connect. But they are a Lego piece. It's yeah, a weird connect connection. Right there. It's a strange connection. Yeah. I think that was all that was in that. Oh, no, nope, nope. And there's some dogs, some red crabs, and... <laughs> a oh. random fat trick. Did you choose that no, one, I picked too? that one, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> it goes with the aquarium. Oh, there you go. So the mock, if you hadn't guessed it, is a zoo slash aquarium. It's both in one. It's inspired by several different places. One of them is the zoo in Ohio, the Cleveland Zoo, mm -hmm. Mystic Aquarium, New England Aquarium, and the Roger Williams Zoo. So it's a little bit of a mix of all four of those combined into one big layout. Nice. I have some pretty cool ideas. So lots of pieces coming, lots of animals, goofy stuff as well, because mm -hmm. it's not Lego yeah. without goofy stuff. Yeah, goofy stuff. 
Right, here's the last bag. All right. You get to open this one. Okay. The Brick Experience from Ronald. No, just the Brick Experience. Ronald Studel, Holland, Texas. I don't know how to say his name. I'm giving them shout outs, but they're not even going to see this. I'll pick that up. Uh, yeah. yeah. He put his name on the address yeah. line. Okay. What do we got in there? Uh, let's see. We got more green. Lots of green. This is probably them. for the just city stuff. So I needed some stuff for the mountain over there, the Hobbit episode. We should link back to that. Yeah. Um, this is more stuff to add to the mountain. That's where a lot of this green stuff, besides the plants so far, was for the Hobbit stuff. Right. And some of it can be used in the zoo as well. Wow, sounds good. Okay, now I have the first box. There's three boxes. This one is from Simon Koch from North Royalton, Ohio. I just mentioned Ohio, didn't I? Yes, you did. Cleveland Zoo. This one I actually really carve into. I forget what's in any of these. Let's see. Paper. Oh, it's a really wrapped box. What are we getting here? I don't know. More wrapping. more wrapping. Now it's in a bag. Ooh, I see animals. Oh, this is a cool set. Oh, the polar bear. So this is the other polar bear. There's two different polar bears. This is kind of a smaller oh, one. Really? So I don't even know if I like this one as much as okay. the other polar bears back there with the eyes on it. And the oh, as well. okay. So this is the yep. older version. There's no painted eyes. Oh, alright. As well as... Oh, yeah. A sawfish, oh. a swordfish. These I don't see often. Some more manta rays. Yep. Some sharks. sharks. Some more sharks. There's a bunch of sharks. Are you gonna get the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean uh, pirate ship there that has the, the the dead sharks? Not the dead sharks, but the, the what uh, the latest the, Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah, I don't, I don't like, like it. No, no, I don't like how it's open on the bottom. It's just not. So two polar bears. Some sharks, the sawfish, as well as several of these black octopuses. Octopi? Octopi is not correct. Oh, it's not. No, I'm reading a book called The Soul of an Octopus. Really? Which oh. uh, the, the one of the things they mentioned there. Of <laughs> well, at one point you're gonna see the Lego tattoo I have. It's a it's a Lego octopus right. chasing a fish, mm. and I'll take a picture of it. I'm not gonna open my shirt to just show it off. So octopuses. Octopuses or octopus, I think, is fine too. Seven so octopus. Octopi is it, not. It mentioned in the book that octopi is not a correct pluralization of octopus. Really? Yes. Hmm. And the the author is Cy Montgomery. She's actually written to me. I wrote to her about something, and she wrote back. Oh. A couple times already. So I got a bunch of these. Not sure what all of these are for, but I like them anyway. Hmm. They're cool. It kind of looks like the what's that com the Hydra. Hydra. It looks yeah. like Hydra a little bit. Yep. Yeah. So is octopus your favorite sea animal? River otters and octopus, yeah. Okay. And polar bear. Okay. Well, I mean, I because you have the uh, because you have the tattoo, I figure. Kind of think, yeah. Here's the second to last box. What are we got here? One gigantic box of lots of black. All right, and you obviously know that's for the tower. Tower. Yeah, I needed black pieces. No, I got them. They, what? I think they just threw everything in there. One by three bricks. One by six bricks. One by four. Everything's in one big bag. There you go. Well, okay. <laughs> this other one should be here. This must be it. So this one's got, if this is the one I think it is, this is pretty cool. This is from Pat McNash from Lexington, Michigan. I see all over the United States and the stuff coming from Europe and if I don't kill myself, oh, cutting this open, you can see what's in it. This should be the one I think it is. It's a pretty cool animal if that's what it is. As I said, I got, it said it was delivered, so this has got to be... One of my favorites, which is a rare one too. Which I can't open the box. Alright, let's see if I'm right. Yes, it is. So I don't need that. I don't need this. Just hand it off. You just toss it on the floor. These are really cool. They were only released in, I believe, just one set. And Andrew has no idea what they are. But he will in a second. Oh. <laughs> and these are really cool. Oh, which set was that for? Was that a um, was that one for like the uh, Prince of Persia? Prince of Persia, yes. Uh, okay. Which did they didn't keep around very long. Okay, well, the movie didn't keep around exactly. very long either. Exactly. Kind of like the Lone Ranger sets, the Prince of Persia sets were out and they got rid of them. Yeah. It was also at the same time they were doing this Prince of Persia and the SpongeBob sets came out and SpongeBob was doing well. Okay. So they continued a few of the SpongeBob sets and oh. didn't continue these. But these are that's neat. Really cool. Yeah. Also perfect for the zoo. 
the things we'll talk about in the other episode All right. about the zoo. We have an episode tied to this one, which is called Mock Talk, and it's going to talk about the a little bit, maybe a little bit about the Tower of Horror thing, but mostly about the latest mock, which is going to be a zoo mock slash aquarium, which Drew figured out pretty quickly. It wasn't too hard after he saw <laughs> animal after animal after animal. Well, I was thinking about the other sets that you had picked up and... The, the actual, like, the jungle sets. Oh, should we mention those and, now? Uh, I can show you the, the jungle sets that are out. So the inspiration for the Zoomock was several different things. One was an aquarium idea, but some of the sets which are due out June 1st, which I found already, are the jungle half-track mission, which has a new piece in it, which is the Black Panther right there, as well as this set. What is that called again? The Jungle Exploration Site. And the reason I got both of these is because, again, a new printed piece, same shape as the panther, but there's a leopard there, or cheetah. I think it's a leopard. You said it was no, a leopard. You, you think I said it was a cheetah. cheetah. You said I it was think leopard. It's a leopard. Uh, and there is one more set, which is um, set number 60162. And I know these numbers because I've been searching for it to see if I can get it yet. And 60162 is the larger one. It's a jungle airdrop with a big cargo helicopter, and it has a tiger. Now again, they're all the same shape piece, but they're just printed differently. And Lego hasn't ever released anything like that. So these are perfect for, yeah. which we're going to tie into our other episode, which is the mock talk about the zoo. There you go. So this was uh, my first time I've done a haul on a show. It took us a long time because it was an awful lot of bags. Next time I'll limit it to a few at a time, maybe. But pretty exciting. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of stuff to sort now. You're going to help with that, right? Sure. I'll you won't. Help. <laughs> You know what happens? We finish filming, he books it out the door. Actually, I usually feed him. He does feed me. So, we're having steak tonight. <laughs> brought my own. <elbow. laughs> I, I ran out of steak, he brought his own. But he usually does feed me on it. Yes. Right. <laughs> that was our haul. Yeah. What'd you think? I think it's great. I love these sets. Um, they're yes. awesome. I'm going to probably use some of the stuff again. Let's hold that for the other episode. Yeah. Thanks for watching this fun episode. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram and Twitter at Built From Bricks. And stay tuned each and every week for another fun, filled, exciting, you never know what you're going to see episode. What have you built today?